SwiftUI's at state property wrapper is designed to store simple data that's local to one view. But as soon as you want to share data across multiple views, it stops being useful. Now let's break this down with some code. First, we'll make a struct that stores a user's first name and last name. We'll say struct user has a first name. I'll make it Bilbo by default, so I'll make our life easier. And last name is Baggins by default. Again, make our life easier. We can now use that inside a Swift UI view using an at state property like this. At state private var user is user. And bind the values inside the struct, first name and last name, to text fields. So we'll say it's a vstack with a text view saying your name is user.firstname and user.lastname. And below that, we'll have two text fields with these two way bindings text field, uh, first name, bound to the text of dollar user.firstname. And then the same for last name, like that. This will all work. Now, SwiftUI is smarter to know that as we're typing stuff here, if I change Bilbo to Frodo, boom, it changes up here as well. Very nice. It understands our object, this user struct, this user instance right here, contains all our data, and it'll update the UI when either value changes, or either first name or last name. Now behind the scenes, what's happening here is each time a value inside our struct changes, the whole struct changes. It's like a new user being made for every character we write in first name or last name. That might sound wasteful, but it's actually extremely fast. Now previously, we looked at the differences between classes and struct, and I there are two important ones I mentioned. First, structs always have one unique owner at a time, whereas classes can have multiple things pointed to the same instance value. And second, the classes need, uh, don't need to have the mutating keyword on methods that change their properties, because you can change properties of constant classes. In practice, what this means is if we have two Swifty Y views, and we send them both the same struct, they will actually have a unique copy of that struct. If one changes it, the other view will not see those changes. On the other hand, if we have an instance of a class and give that to both views, they will share changes. For Swift UI developers, what this means is if we want to share data between multiple views, if we want two, three, four, or more views to have the same data, so when one changes, they all change, We've got to use classes rather than structs. So please change struct user to be class user. Now run it again and see what you think. So I'll go ahead and again change Bilbo to be Frodo. And notice how nothing has changed in our text view above. It does not work anymore. Now, sure, we, the text will still work, we can still write things but the text view above does not change. When we used at state, we're asking SwiftUI to watch a property for changes. So if we change a string, flip a Boolean, append to an array, increment an integer, whatever, the property is changed. And at state will cause the body property to be reinvoked with new values. When user was a struct, every time we modified a property of that struct, the whole struct was changing. That's what's happening. At state was able to see that and automatically reloaded our body property. Now that we have a class, that's no longer happening. So if we just modify the properties directly. Now remember how we had to use a mutating keyword when we had struct methods that modified properties? This is because if we created a, a properties of a struct as variable, but the instance of the struct as a constant, we can't change the properties anymore. Swift has to be able to destroy and recreate the whole struct for every change to its properties. And that is not possible for constant structs. Classes don't need the mutating keyword because even if the class is marked as constant, we can still modify variable properties. 
I know this all sounds terrifically theoretical, but here's a twist. Now that user is a class, the property inside, first name and last name are changing. But the at state user property, the one that's being watched, is not changing. That's the same class instance all the time. And so at state sees nothing's changing from its, its, its perspective and will not reload the view. So again, the values inside are changing. The now value will be Frodo Baggins, but we aren't seeing it on our UI because at state does not watch values inside the class, only the class instance itself. So effectively what's happening is it's changing internally, but not reflecting that change in our UI. To fix this, we've got to leave at state behind. Instead, we need a more powerful property wrapper called at state object. Let's look at that next.